Hey, welcome back to another episode of Restoring Aquina. Uh, we're down in the shop today, or actually tonight, it's like 8 o'clock. Um, and uh, I'm working on the cockpit combings, uh, which I have right here. I kind of have noticed that last spring was kind of um, doing everything to get the boat into the water. Um, and then this round of uh, restoration and work is about doing everything correctly. So tonight, I'm going to sand down the uh, finish um, from last year for more new coats. I'm going to be doing varnish. Um, and then I'm also going to drill out the old screw holes and um, bung them and re-drill them. One of the Cummings is uh, all set. There's just a couple of old screw holes that I have to bung. But this one has two problem areas. And the first one is right here. Um, and this is like obvious, an obvious weak point where, you know, people can be pulling on this or sitting on this and flexing there. And then so this is going to start a crack. So the crack started there. And it, um, I think I, I, I epoxied it last season, but it just didn't hold well. So I have, I have some better epoxy. And then, so there's this kind of bit here. I'm, I'm gonna pull this out and I'll just reattach that. And I, I took it out so I could get more glue in here or epoxy actually. So I'm gonna epoxy it and then um, I'll stick that back on top and uh, push it back together. And then the other issue is um, right here. I made this graving piece last year, um, but on the other side, uh, there's still areas of the chip out, so I'm um, I'm gonna cut this out and make a second graving piece to fit in there. Uh, there it is, uh, roughly fit. I ended up doing it in two pieces. Um, because this is that other green piece I did last year and I did not want to uh, break through the other side. So I carved this out in a step. So it's here and then up. And then so I have this first piece, which uh, fits in on the bottom. And then the second one fits in on the top. So tomorrow I'm going to epoxy those and uh, Get that all nice and tight, and then I'll sand it down flush. So I just glued up the crack on the uh, stern of the uh, one of the coatings, I forget which side it is, and then I glued up the graving pieces. And so now I'm coating um, both coatings the whole way down uh, with the epoxy, and then I'm going to sand that down, and then that way the wood is sealed, and then I have to do a lot less coats of varnish. And up on the boat, I'm starting to fare the deck with epoxy. So tonight I made it a little bit thicker than last time. I'm gonna see which one is uh, easier to roll out. I, I think this is a little too thick. Um, it's not like I'm like doing like really, faring a really crazy uh, section.
Since I've been making such a mess up on deck, I decided to make some dust down below and I removed all the carpet and have been scraping off all the glue holding the carpet to the hole. As you can see, we got our first snowstorm uh, here in New England. Uh, we got like four or five inches, uh, but the snow is like, it turned to rain halfway through, so the snow is just like really, really heavy and thick. But the cover uh, seems to have held up fine. I just went around and tapped everything that was kind of still sticking it, and it popped off. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm uh, pretty happy with the cover. And here I am sanding and uh, washing down with the solvent wash uh, in the lockers uh, for their second coat of the Interlux Bilge Coat. So um, in order to help stabilize the deck and get a flat surface that I can then um, lay some fiberglass um, roving over, um, I'm uh, filling in some of like, the tiny cracks and kind of fairing the deck um, with, I have 407, uh, the West Systems 407 filler, and then the West Systems 406 filler. Um, so this is like a fairing filler and this is what's called colloidal silica. This is more if you kind of want the epoxy to be kind of like a glue. So if you're um, putting together two pieces and it thickens it and it makes it strong. Uh, this is kind of for filling in gaps and fairing. Um, but I, what I've heard is you, I'm doing kind of mostly this, but a little bit of this and this kind of adds a little bit of extra strength and um, um, it's more, um, it doesn't, sag as much if I add a little bit of this. So now I'm up where I'm going to be putting down the epoxy. Um, I don't want to have my respirator off for too long because I'm using this um, solvent uh, Interlux 202 which is like a fiberglass and surface prep um, and that just gets all the dust, dust and any contaminants off so I get a good bond. So while I've been doing work on the boat, I've also been doing some work down here in the basement. Um, I got all of the uh, caulking off of these uh, window frames from the cabin house, uh, which actually took a while. It was just a bunch of uh, silicone. And then I also finished the combings, and so those are all set. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, I'm just going to be continuing to get the boat ready for painting, uh, getting the deck ready for painting and um, keeping on improving the boat for next season. So thanks for watching.